I hope this is picking up and I hope this is recording. But anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chameleon Girl Gina. And today I decided to record um, a video that's going to be pretty brief for you guys. But I would like to share something with you all. And um, I'm trying to see if there is anybody out there who has subscribed to my channel and uh, things of that nature that may be in need of help for these upcoming stressful holidays that we know that they are. Um... I just got through making a live Facebook video explaining um, how how good God truly is and how he has worked in my life. And I decided to try to share the message with some of you all over on YouTube as well. So I explained more about how the holiday giveaway will work um, but it is going to be for someone who is in need not in greed and I'm going to ask a friend of mine to help me to help you okay with the help of God so what has happened to me okay when it it was a couple of days after Thanksgiving and I had started hearing word, word that my son, my eldest son, he was not, you know, something was going wrong with him or uh, over at his house or whatever the situation was. And I really, really was concerned about him. I was so concerned about him that I began to have headaches. I began to throw up. I began to cry. I began to worry and worry and worry like crazy. And what ended up happening is that um, I got physically sick on top of emotionally upset and worried and mentally upset and worried I was physically sick to where I was up chucking and couldn't keep nothing in my stomach my husband started telling me how the acid really builds up in your stomach when you are so stressed out and you are so worried and you start having some serious problems with your digestive system and your stomach and such okay so what ended up happening is that I began praying and asking God to heal me and to get me better. And as I was asking God that, well, you know, God, he knows all. And he knew this stuff was going to happen before I knew it was going to happen. And so he was right on time for me. So I had asked God if he would just heal my body. And I kept pleading, pleading, just heal me. Heal me. By your stripes, I will be healed. Just telling myself. In the meantime, God, he is so awesome that not only did he decide to heal my body he healed my mind and he revealed to me that he got this and so my daughter and my husband they came into my room to check on me and see how I had been doing that day and with that being said I was able to share with them that there is nothing that I can do about that situation at all. 
No matter what I say to my son, no matter what I say to anybody around him, no matter what I try, there is nothing that I can do about it. So you know what that means? That means that God was telling me that he will handle that situation. And I need not worry myself with what his with his concerns. And after that, I began to get better. But I didn't realize that God had actually not only began to heal my body, he had answered my prayer regarding my son, regarding my child. And he did reveal to me that there is nothing that I can do about that. There is nothing that I can do about a whole lot of things. And there is nothing that you can do a lot about a whole lot of things, guys. Um, you have to put things where they belong, in God's hands. And when we put things over in God's hands, we have to know and believe him. That he is going to take care of us and he is going to supply our every need. Because he knows how to do it. He knows how to do his job as God and God alone. I would imagine he does. See, the problem is that we like to play God. And we like to, you know, think that we can fix it. Or we like to try to fix it before um, we would give these things to God and leave them with him or we'll give it to him we'll turn our problems over to him and then all of a sudden we will take our problems back and we will want to carry our own burden because he didn't do exactly what we thought right then and there he didn't answer right then and there it didn't get fixed right then and there but see that's not the way that god works we're not doing right right then and there we're not praying right then and there we're trying to fix ourselves right then and there. So there are things that we just cannot do. We have to trust and we have to believe that God will fix it and he will do it. And so what I'm saying to you guys is that God has done something so awesome in my life and he will do it for you too. Put your, cast your cares on the Lord. He will fix it and he will supply your needs. He will heal illnesses. He will be your lawyer in the courtroom. He will be your doctor. He will be your best friend. But you have to trust him. And that is what I was reminded of. And that is why I wanted to share what I have to say and what has happened to me with you guys today. Because at the end of the day, if we want to, to have God to help us and intercede like we really need, then we just have to trust and believe that he'll do it. If we don't have the faith, the faith of either, even a mustard seed, there nothing can really change for us. So don't y'all be worried about this holiday and your children and your marriage and your mama and daddy and friends that talking about you behind your back and laughing with you in your face and don't worry about all of these things and these different people that is going to change a change is going to come to you guys um, but you cannot be worried about when God is going to move pray to him be sincere and ask him and he will fix it he fixed it so much for me because I have been so sick I didn't even know really what to say for a while there, like to God when I wanted to pray. I didn't, I didn't have the words or the courage or the strength to go to God. But when I did go to him and he came and he answered me and those words came out of my mouth, I knew that was his answer for me. That was coming out of my mouth to my family when I said, there's nothing that I can do about that regarding my child and the last thing that I want to tell you guys is the first thing that I opened up this video with if you guys are or you know of somebody that is subscribed to this channel 
and they are in need, not in greed. Send me an email. Tell me a little bit about what is going on. I don't need your life story, but from there, I will pick a couple of different families to try to help out. <coughs> Mm, my mouth is so dry. With a holiday meal. And if you have children, we're going to try and get your kids a couple of toys. But I hope you guys will see the, um, this video and know that it is very serious. There are a lot of people out here that are in true need. They are not in want. They are not in greed. They are in true need. And I have been blessed by God enough to want to be a blessing to someone else. So I'm going to leave my email in the description box. In the meantime, make sure that you have done a few things for me. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure that you, if you think that you know of somebody or if you are somebody that has a need for this holiday season, then send me an email. Only serious, only serious people who's not playing games or is trying to swindle and con, whatever it's called, that people do these days is a scamming. But anyway, no, nobody doing that because it's not necessary. Um, but if you're in true need, send me an email. I will read through the emails and make a decision as to who will get some assistance this year on my end. Okay. So God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of your day as well.